the web, the Pope is visiting the USA and the Vatican is perfecting its online marketing. The web in Serbia reacts strongly to Carla Del Ponte's revelations and the day's pick of the best. Yesterday, Pope Benedict XVI began his six-day visit to the USA. A marketing campaign has been launched online to boost the Catholic Church's image there. This site has been especially created for the occasion. It is broadcasted live and follows the Pope's every move. This is a first for the Vatican. Catholic Tube is taking part in this virtual campaign by broadcasting the Pope's message to America. The strong point is the part in Spanish for the Hispanic minority, which represents around half of the Catholics in America. Latinos are expecting great things from his visit. Mexicans Without Borders asks him to denounce the discrimination and racism which Latino immigrants are subjected to in the USA. Another question is how the Pope will approach the pedophile priest scandal which erupted in 2002. This web user has put this drawing online which illustrates the $600 million paid in 2007 by the Diocese of Los Angeles to 500 victims of sexual abuse. The KLA, the Kosovo Liberation Army, were perhaps organ trafficking in 1999. These revelations from the book of the ex-chief prosecutor for war crimes in former Yugoslavia, Carla Del Ponte, have provoked an avalanche of pro serb reactions on the web. In the context of Del Ponte's revelations, this blogger has put photos online of distressed Serb women queuing up to find out if their sons, husbands or fathers had disappeared in Kosovo. This video is even more extreme and exposes the crimes that the KLA would be capable of as terrorists. It quotes notably the ex-chief prosecutor's book, a link that sends you to a false KLA website. The objective is to shock people and to list the crimes that the army group has committed. This is backed up by propaganda documents which include gory photographs. This British blogger criticizes this escalation of reactions, often full of hatred, which he feels is an outrageous demonization. He calls for fairness from the investigators. The popular photo sharing site Flickr is expanding their remit with a new video service, but only those who have a paid-for pro account will be able to use it, and the videos must be shorter than 90 seconds. Anti-video groups are campaigning on the site, wanting it to stay specializing in photos. Internet inspires the most daring forms of expression. The latest trend on the web is erotic blogging. A new category has been created in the International Internet Creation Festival's competition in Romance sur Isère. Amongst the finalists are the erotic universe of a woman or extravagance. Attention please, vulgarity has no place here. The authors are self-professed poets.